Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to catch chub on crankbaits in 60 minutes. So, let's go. Okay, let's get him back. Daiwa Pro X Minnow, that's what we had that on. Emily. Yes. Hey guys, so my channel is all about catching fish quickly. Um, I basically do one hour sessions um, around my family life um, and I found that my catch rates really soared um, and that's because I do it at targeted times. For me, it's first thing in the morning when nobody's up and I've been, all summer, I've been really, really successful catching fish quickly, yes. especially chub <laughs> and crankbaits. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Um, what you need is obviously a spinning rod and a reel. I've using, I'm using a uh, Shimano Poison Adrena. Uh, most people probably wouldn't go quite as expensive as that and to be quite honest with you, you don't need to. But uh, a nice light spinning rod, which can is rated up to about sort of 10 grams, will be absolutely fine. Um, a little one, uh, 1,000 size reel, again, uh, the entry level Shimano and Daiwa reels like the Daiwa Ninja or um, some of the Shimano Sienna I think is the entry level. Any of those really small little reels are going to be absolutely fine for Chubb. Um, I run a uh, um, braided line on this so I'm using line from AliExpress, it's Hercules, I think it's £10 braid or £12 braid and I go straight onto a fluorocarbon leader of two meters. Um, uh, I attach that with an all bright knot to the, um, the braid and you can go onto my channel and have a look for the all bright knot and you can find out how to tie that if you don't know how. Um, lure wise, I've got a box of lures here. Um, I've got uh, these Stepanow lures which are brilliant. Uh, I've caught on these Bromba lures. Um, this is um, a Gobi by Savage Gear. Uh, Salmo Hornets are quite well known for chub. Um, and I've got a sort of host of other little things, little um, spinners, sometimes MEP spinners. Um, the star of the show for me this season has been this little Daiwa Pro Rex Micro Minnow. Um, now that thing uh, just catches. I don't know what it is, if it's just about the size and the depth that it, it swims, but it, it catches. Um, so on top of that, you're gonna need a net and you're gonna need a little mat. I use um, an arm out net um, and it extends down to four meters, I think. It's really, really long and it is essential for the kind of fishing which I do, which is off the river. Um, and this freestyle mat by Spro, again, brilliant. Just really lightweight. Um, the idea is you stay lightweight, you have to stay lightweight. Uh, to catch these fish, you have to be able to move around. 
Okay, so that's the gear, that's how we're doing it. Let's go and see if we can catch some chub. Okay guys, so we started at 6.30, so let's see if we can catch a fish. Hey guys, so if you really want to catch chub, the first thing you really need to know is location. You have to know where they are. Um, now I found that they tend to sit in a few places and the first place which we're going to look at is under bushes. Um, where you've got overhanging trees, um, chub tend to sit and on my river, I'm not sure if it's the same on your river, but on my river, if there's a willow tree hanging over the the um, water there's a really good chance that there's going to be a chub under there uh, the reason for this is they eat bugs which fall off the trees and so um, they're sitting there waiting for little bugs to come out um, and they're incredibly wary so they're underneath the trees hiding so this tree is a really good example I know that there's chub under there let's see if we can get one out this little lure is going to go on a, a suicide mission. It's going to go all the way underneath this bush. So the second major thing about catching chub and catching chub on lures is to be not seen. Chub are the fish of a thousand eyes. If they see you, it's incredibly hard to catch them. So you've got to stay concealed. Um, you can do that in several ways. Don't just walk straight up to the bank. Um, try and use uh, natural cover like bushes to sort of stand behind, um, have bushes behind you or some kind of backdrop so you blend in, don't wear bright colors. Um, don't move around too much, move slowly. Um, all of those things will definitely help. I found if they don't know that you're there, you stand a huge amount more chance catching them. Once you, they know you're there, generally game over. Okay, let's see if we can get one. Okay guys, so I'm gonna stay well back from the edge here um, so I, they can't see me. There's a chub right underneath me just there. thought about it, he really thought about that. He kind of turned on it and then didn't turn on it. There's another chub right over the other side. Okay, that was a nice chub as well. <laughs> yes, oh, what? That was a take and I had it. Don't know quite what happened there. Huh. So I just hooked into one, but the hook pulled, unfortunately. Um, sometimes happens, there was a load of chub underneath there. That would have been um, a chub in about five minutes. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can get another one. Okay, another willow tree. Um, it's quite often chub sitting off the back of this, or in the front of it. And we're in. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. 
Okay, guys. 6.48. Okay, that took us 18 minutes. Here you go. Lovely 50 centimetre chub, pretty much on the nose. It's probably about three pounds. Uh, what a beauty. We caught that in 18 minutes and we lost one as well before that. Um, so we possibly could have caught one in 10 minutes. Look at that, what a beautiful fish. Really, really pleased with that. Okay, let's get him back. Daiwa Pro Rex Minnow, that's what we had that on. Hey guys, so within the first 18 minutes of fishing, we've missed one fish, hooked, pulled on another fish, and we've caught one fish. So that shows quite how explosive this fishing can be um, when the fishing's on. Um, I think at the moment, the river is running really clear, and because we've had a bit of rain, there's a bit more current in there. So. I get the feeling that there's a bit more oxygen in the water because they look, seem to be a lot more active today. Um, so let's go and see if we can go and catch a couple other fish. Uh, remember, I'm having to mess around with filming and trying to put things back, etc. So, um, you know, if you're doing this for yourself, you wouldn't have to do all of that. Um, so you could really get in there. But I feel like the key to this is knowing where the fish are and then targeting those with the appropriate lures. Okay, let's go. So another place which is always worth looking at are bridges. So this bridge behind me is a class example. There's always chub sitting just on the back of this bridge and underneath it. Um, they love the the cover which it provides um, and also the light difference so when you come in and out of a bridge essentially it goes from light to dark and like for predators that's great because it blinds little fish as they go in and out of that and they sit in that sort of little zone there um, for me personally I tend to have catch the smaller chub underneath the bridge um, but I have had a couple of big ones as well but um, it's always a good place also perch tend to hang out underneath there as well. Okay guys, um, I'm gonna try off um, behind a bush just behind me. Um, there's usually chub underneath there. Haven't had so much luck from there recently, but it used to be always get a fish or at least a tank. Let's try. Yes! <laughs> Saw that fish charge that. <laughs> it's only a small one. Here we go guys, nice little, probably sort of two pounder, uh, tiny little chub, he charged it, oh, charged it, again straight on the Daiwa Pro Rex Minnow, look at that, let's put him back, oh time wise, so, Seven seventeen. Oh, we've still got another fifteen minutes to catch a third fish.
Okay guys, so that's uh, two chub in under an hour and we had another miss and we had another pull. So, I mean, that's quite a lot of fish in a short space of time. But this is what I do on my channel. We try and, or oh, I try and get as much action as I can in such a short space of time as I can. And it's through timing and the type of fishing I do. Um, so I hope, hope this is helpful to you guys. I know a lot of you have heard, I've had subscribers saying that they've had problems uh, catching on crankbaits. I catch on specific types of crankbaits. Um, I haven't had so much luck on the Salmo Hornets, but the Daiwa Pro-X Micro Minnow is my go-to lure. So, um, other areas to target when you're chub fishing on crankbaits is um, reeds. They like to hang alongside reeds, um, like these reeds here. In fact, that little area there looks very chubby, um, but I can't get down to it easily. Um, and faster moving water. So on the reeds, they're looking to um, they're looking to basically get bugs which are falling off the the uh, reeds. And uh, the faster moving water, they like oxygen. I've just seen a chub underneath there. Ooh, I wish I could get down there. The pain would not be worth the sacrifice. I think I'm wearing shorts and I'd be wading absolutely wading through uh, nettles. There's a chub just sitting underneath that. <laughs> okay guys, um, I found a new spot. Um, I fish all the way down, I'm always fishing down this stretch and I've not seen this bit. Um, and I've just spotted some very big chub. Um, if I can get a lure out to them, maybe I'll stand a chance. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. I've got a feeling these fish are going to be incredibly spooky. Um, there's no cover. I might even cast from here. It's a little bit Exactly the greatest cast they're feeding. They're ignoring this look. Which means I'm going to swap over. Let's go for some 
Over to a step and out of the let's see. Oh, how what happened there? It's beyond me. Yes! Yes, we got him. We got him. Ha! Ah. Over the slot. Yes, yes, yes. Okay guys, 7.42, just, just past the hour um, and just took this lovely chub, absolute beaut, he's just over 50 centimetres, these fish were literally fighting over the second lure, they wouldn't look at the uh, Daiwa but they went straight for the stepper now, look at that, right what a beautiful fish, let's uh, get him back.
Hey guys. So, um, in one hour we had three chub, uh, probably two three pounders, one probably sort of two pounder. We had several misses and one hook pulled as well. Pretty good going, isn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with that myself. Um, so we're, we're just walking back up to the car. We might try a couple of other spots, so we might get another bonus fish in. Um, if you did like this video, and I hope it helped you guys learn how to do this or how, how I'm catching um, chub on crankbaits, obviously um, I'm not the authority on this. Um, people like Trevor Gunning and several other sort of really excellent anglers out there have got this down to an absolute art. Um, but I hope I've helped in some, some little way. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Um, I've been running this channel now for about a year and a half. Um, we just broke the thousand subscriber mark, which was excellent. I was really, really pleased to do that. Um, but I'm still trying to grow this channel. I'm putting loads of time and effort in on this, which I really enjoy doing. Um, but I'd love to hear from you guys as well as uh, for you to subscribe, but please get in contact. I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. Um, I don't get very many comments on my videos. I'd like to know if I'm doing a good job, if I'm doing a bad job, what you'd like to see. I'll give it a go. Um, so get in contact, let me know. And as always, best of luck with your own fishing adventures.